podcast. Look for a four, Fidel 410. Wait, are you even? Yeah, I did. Is it? Huh? Fidel under, uh, Fidel underscore Martinez. Through mine, huh? Did you get your training done already? All right. Yeah. Well, no, I, you know how you did Twitch last time? I was able to put it on, on YouTube. So Josh should be able to at least see us. But I don't have the, the comments activated on my screen because I didn't want to see all that, all that crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he wants to play. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So ho hopefully if Josh follows... Well, mine's showing right there. Well, it's looking for you, I guess. I wonder if I should go back out and restart it. I don't think so. Let me see. Hold on, let me see. So you, you already started. You're waiting for me, right? Ah, there we go. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, dang. Good God. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. No, we were we got in late. We were like got in like two in the morning. 
So, yeah. So, I have one more chance. No, I got one more chance. Before, before Mardi Gras is over. Um, I go back out next Friday. So. Uh, generally, it starts like... Technically, it starts like in January. But you figure, really, it kicks off two weeks Coach, before um, before um, Fat Tuesday, which, it's you know, is going to be the 25th. Made their way out of the tunnel. These folks oh, are don't fired do up as here guys are ready to do oh, battle the between the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams. No! Hold on, let me... Let me I am not rage quitting already. Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all need to stay off the Wi-Fi for, for a little bit, please. I know. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 20. That's my 60 throwback. Yard line. <laughs> for me, for you, you're gonna be throwing to people, throwing to people that you think is oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second Stay down. Stay off the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Josh. <laughs> Did you see Josh's text? <laughs> Detroit. Off the play fake. Washington. He targets Jordan Matthews and it's gone. And he takes himself <laughs> to the four-yard line before being corralled. And that one good for 16 and the drive will continue. There's the ball. <laughs> oh, God. Versus his own defense. I thought he was going to throw a pick for a minute there. No. Put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Set. Green, 39. Green, 39. This is Coleman. And he's across the 43 extra yards right, to the 43. That's fine. Call it again. Right. Four on first, and that'll make it second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Right, let's see. Looking to throw on second down. Washington. Come on. He can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. You know, a week ago, right. they dominated in the trenches. They got in the backfield for five sacks. Setting the tone there, one on the opening drive. And it sets the tone for the opposing team, doesn't it? Remember when you were a kid and you went to the theater and saw that horror movie and it stuck with you for a while and you were a little bit jumpy? Well, if you saw five sacks the previous week and you're the quarterback, he might be a little jumpy as well. Might throw off his timing. Yeah, it'd be jumpy, but I'm uh, sorry. Bob and Linda wouldn't let me see a PG movie until I was 17. Well, that's just good parenting. And a throw right sideline is complete. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And a when first. this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Coleman. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Uh, quick, yeah, quick, no, quick. tell me about it. Terrific play, holding them to no gain. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now let's go. Blue Blue 
Come on. No. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. The and now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Yeah. Washington. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the huh? film study he's been doing during the week. Yes. I think he's found matchups. No, he it's likes, not. And he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. <laughs> Where do you think you were going to run? Eight yards officially, and it'll be giant football first and ten. Mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. <laughs> After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And uh -huh. a little daylight there. They'll get a couple up to the 44. Defensively, here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered. You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. On second down, here's Barkley. Oh, come on. Midfield just That's right. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. <laughs> so a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second <laughs> A good solid game there on first down, but the defense well. has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. What? I was choosing my play. And they'll run it here. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Muscle cramp. Six on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing 
often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. so far. It's first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. It yeah, you did. That's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. <laughs> they go play action here on first down. Come on, throw the ball. Oh, really? I see an all out rush like that. I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two I'm, remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. I know. <laughs> it's been a while. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Here we go now. 3 19. 3 19. Back to throw. Washington. Oh, no. You got to be joking. Oh, you got to be joking. Hold on, give me a sec here. Damn it. I'm, I'm 